yeah, he started out MSM. Definitely yeah. the founder of MSM. Was oh, yeah, it was MSM. Yeah. It was MSM. The founder of MSM, the voice of Revali himself, and several other anime characters. And, uh, what was his name? What was his name? Kamashita. I love He's no, the voice of no, Kamashita no, Persona 5. No, no, he's the voice of Mishima. Oh, Mishima, yeah, there you go. I, I know, I know, because, like, I'm like, this is Sean. This sounds like yeah. Sean. And, like, um, I forgot what his name is in Re Zero. What's his, what's his name? I love Amelia guy. What the hell? Subaru! There we go! Yeah. Subaru. So, he's the voice of Subaru. A voice actor indeed, the voice of Revali indeed. He's also uh, a voice of some characters in uh, Octopath Traveler, I think, this guy. Yeah, he's in a couple he's other voices. He's in voice. quite a few. Yeah. Uh, of course, he's actually our best Mega Man main in Smash 4. And so far, he's looking to possibly continue the trend. What? What? Because this is winner semis against Pan and Bruce. One of the funniest things about, um, uh, about Sonic Mega is He's one of the Mega Man's that used Leaf Shield prominently in Smash yeah. 4. But when it comes to Smash Ultimate, he has yet to press that Leaf Shield button sometimes. Yeah. He loves the Metal Blade in his game. Oh, there's the Leaf Shield, finally. <laughs> like, it, canonically, Metal Blade is like one of Mega Man's best projectiles of all time. I, I actually don't remember um, how the Mega Man games played because I was just so young when they were out. Uh, it's all good, man. We'll see how Mega Man plays here in Ultimate against Wolf. And so far, Sonic Mega able to land get all the hits on the Leaf Blade. And I like the fact that he waits to get all hits until he finally launches him. Yeah, and there's no reason not to. It's tilting. Yeah. <laughs> it tilts you. Like, you want to throw a projectile? No, Leaf Shield is an actual shield now. You want to hit me? No, Leaf Shield's an actual shield now. Yeah. Like, there's I, little things that can beat Leaf Shield. And it has to kind of respect Leaf Shield. Like that? Like that. He, did, he went for the floor, so I see it where it wants to go, but he has to respect Leaf Shield. Alright, oh, it looks like he wanted to go with a turnaround uh, turn attack. Yeah. Yeah. But it gets probably the dash be, back instead. It's probably going to be our back air. Yeah, probably. Alright. Just going to go back to ledge with a rush coil and ooh, gets clipped by uh, Wolf up B. I still don't know the name of it. Down throw. Can I look for the edge guard? I like that he sees the crash bomb attached to him though. I like it too because he got up at the very end of the explosion, tried to grab him and get a back throw set up. Yeah. But he Cannon very smartly rolled. They both knew the timing of how crash bomb was going to work out. That's why Cannon didn't hold shield early. Gonna throw a metal blade and set up for a back air there. No! That's the very one thing, nice. That's one thing we mentioned earlier, right? You need to be careful when you edge guard Wolf on the side beat because if you're not ready for it, you won't get caught by the sweet spot. Yeah, the, the thing. Um, Oh, very nice spot dodge into sure you can up, uh, up tilt. Uh, one thing I like doing uh, when playing against Wolf, albeit all my characters basically have it, is have a character with a counter against Wolf because most of the time you're going to try to get him to use Wolf Flash and since Wolf Flash doesn't clip the ledge, uh, snap the ledge, yeah. you can ca catch him at any hit of Wolf Flash and possibly kill him for it. I really like the B reverse leaf shield because he recognized K9's uh, reflector was out. Yeah. So he threw it the nice. other way so it doesn't work again. Saw the invincibility go out, and I like the fact that K9 tried to meet him for the high recovery there, but our immediately knuckles. Sonic Knuckles. Yeah, Hard Knuckle was out there for the feed. Uh, I was just confused at how Hard Knuckle hit him, but uh, I guess K9 threw it like a back air or something. Uh, he came in too hard with that wolf, the wolf fire. All right, gonna throw a four like forward smash looks small. But it's so super strong. Don't sleep on it. Yeah. Leaf Shield's gonna set up for double fair. Very nice frame trap from Sonic Mega there, setting it all up with a Leaf Shield. Throwing another Metal Blade, just gonna bounce off that shield. I love this this pressure from Sonic Mega. Nice. Into the down smash, reading the, reading the wall. All right, Sonic Mega going to go with another Leaf Shield here. Wolf. All right, K9. With the forward air, he's not going to be able to connect anything else afterwards. He's too high percent to connect it to anything else. Okay. Can I with the edge guard? Nice. Like it's a it. two-frame down tilt. And very smartly, Sonic Mega holding onto his jump. I like the fact that K9 goes for the edge guard, but I want to see him respect the shield a little bit more. Yeah. Let go of the ledge the minute you see Sonic Mega get up. He's been going for the shield and then find the punish. Change your punish game around, work around Leaf Shield. Form a game plan around Leaf Shield. Another wall flash and Sonic oh, Mega double air jumps dodge. air dodge. Yeah. Looks like he was he just wanted to double jump and air dodge past it, but he was holding the direction, so oh. he just killed him for it. And uh K9 a little bit antsy with that forward smash after that third. I think he tried to go for it. Oh. I hope sure you can gonna take that. Sonic Mega with a little bit of a nod in his head, man, he feels it. Hey, look at it, look at me, he's got his groove, he's got his shirt, he's got his headset. My man has, like, he has the power anime at his side. I can't, I can't deny it, like. You're, you're at, 
He, yeah. he, ha he literally has the power of anime on his side. Yeah. He's a main character, he's <laughs> a side character, he's multiple types of characters. Oh my god. He himself is actually a character. It's not like yeah. a very much a character. But anyways, let's throw on the canine. I'm interested to see K9 start formulating a game plan. That's what I want to see. K9 definitely wasn't too far behind, but he needed to calm himself down. Understand Leaf Shield. Leaf Shield was literally the MVP of that game. I feel and like I said, if you work around it, you can start looking at how to punish Sonic Mega. I feel like I feel like the better pick uh, would possibly be Lucina. Um, Get a and, sword, a little bit of disjoint. Yeah, right. Because like Wolf. Like, his fair goes far, his, his tilts go far, but it's still connected to his hand. And, alright, it looks like he's uh, getting the spacing oh, more correctly. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, if he, he even touched if the platform and went for yeah. the up tilt, too. Like, as long as K9 can space his disjoints correctly to where it's not gonna be affecting him, he's gonna be alright with both. Because that's exactly what he just did for that extra, uh, for the first 56% he got onto Sonic Mega. Oh, nice. Two nares. Sonic Mega off the stage. And the situation for the K9. Nice. Spaced out the board tilt there. Oh, interesting. Crash Bomber. This is what I wanted to see, breaks. right? He separated himself from the ledge and looked to get the punish after the leaf shield. K9 also setting up at mid stage here, just punishing with these fairs as it's really fast, sets up into, into a worse situation for your opponent. Nice, jumping over the Crash Bomber too. Up tilt not gonna connect and rolls away from the Leaf Shield. Very smart adaptation from K9 in his first stock. I like the fact that he didn't go for the, the Reflector because if he did, that means K9, I'm sorry, Sonic Mega's gonna come for the grab. That forward yeah. tilt actually killed. Yeah, just clipping Sonic Mega on his foot. Up tilt? No, I like it. Expecting a Leaf Shield just dashes back out, then dashes back in. Very nice, another forward tilt. Just respecting Sonic and Mega's space and forcing him to roll and just barely missing the, uh, the grab punish. Yeah, K9 with a bit of the adaptation catches the lead for the middle blade. Alright, up nope. smash, not gonna take it just yet. That's what I'm like about K9, he shows adaptation. He's not afraid to understand, hey, game one, I understood what my fault was. Sees there the distance go. between him and the Leaf Show, that way he able to go to reflect. He knows the distance he has to go to reflect. He, al he also knows that once Leaf Shield is out, almost every Mega Man is going to try and throw that at you anyway. Yeah. Why not hold that reflector and make them commit to it? Well, it's a tough angle for Mega Man to recover, but of course, directional air dodge is going to help out a little bit for Sonic Mega. All right. A little bit too scared with that shield. I do respect it though. I, I definitely saw that he might have been scared for the down smash or forward smash. I thought he might have been trying to hold back. I like what K9 is doing here. He's playing much slower, but still very aggressive uh, against Sonic Mega. He's forcing, forcing a zoner character to approach. All right, just wow. Actually beating out Leaf Shield with Blaster. Uh, Flame Sword, not gonna take that just yet. Ooh. And hard enough, but barely missing it smart. Nice, Ryan with Nair gets the grab immediately. And the follow-up, K9 played with some fire here. All right, another Leaf Shield out. Wow, it's going right in between the leaves of Leaf Shield. I like it because K9's... Whoa. Oh, that was so close. Oh my that God. almost broke the shield. All right. Uh, X Gutter, I think that's what it's called. Uh, gets. Oh, um, uh, uh, back air is back slash. Sorry, um, slash cutter. Slash cutter, there we go. Slash cutter is gonna take that stock off of K9. Alright, another leaf shield, just pressuring that shield here. Know what K I know what K9 is trying to go for here, and and he's playing a little bit too close to, to Sonic Mega, though. He needs to go revert back to how he's playing the first two socks against Sonic yeah. Mega. And so far, Sonic Mega trying to bring it back to how game one went. A little bit of a ballsy wolf fire there. He almost connected it there. Just a lot of a risk, not much of the reward. Ooh, another slash cutter definitely could have taken that stock, but reflecting that leaf show. Get out of here with that up air. Okay. I'm sorry, it's uh, it's called Slash Claw. Slash Claw? Yeah, Slash okay. Man is the one that gives you Mega oh, okay, okay. Man 7, yeah. All right, up and smash gonna take it. He kind of had Sonic Mega a little bit scared and even anticipated that option, so he went for the up smash. One thing that K9 did yeah. is he kind of held his cards close to his chest, went for the up smash at that last second. Game one, he used up smash a little bit too much. Yeah, and um, he started he he started getting the ad adaptation pretty well. Understood the timing for Leaf Shield. Understood it. Uh, understood the space that Sonic Mega wants to be for Leaf Shield, and he's just spaced out of it. Like you're a zoner. I, I don't have to respect what you're doing. He, he adapted so well to how Game 1 went. That's what I wanted to see. I'm glad K9 adapted literally what I was, what I was saying. So let's, let's 
Let's go back in the game three though. Sonic Mega versus Kane and it's Bruce. Only one player will continue from the winner side. Up throw up there. Getting a hefty 32%, still continuing on. Four tilt, not gonna connect into anything else. Actually, I'm sorry, this is one of semi, so this might this is actually uh to make uh almost to make it out. Yeah. Alright. Going to throw out a little bit more pellets. Oh wow, 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 wow. I've never seen Crash Bomber fly that fast. <laughs> Beware the speed, man. You gotta watch out for it. You gotta have a little bit of respect. I like it. That's This is how Kian has been playing around Crash Bomber. We saw that game one, and he waited to go for the shield. Yeah. So did Sonic Mega. This time, Kian reversed it. Ooh. Gets the dare on the lightning. Uh, dare. Uh, back there. Yeah, back there. Alright. Gets a full dash attack there. Tries to go for a hard knuckle. Uh, Kian waits. Uh, is recovering super high in this, uh, this particular game. So he needs oh, to start going for Slash Cutter instead. Great follow up with the tech chase, knowing that Sonic Mega goes on the ground. Spacing on the ledge guard. That's been great, but Sonic Mega needs to start seeing that. Slash. Okay. Alright. Throws out the Crash Bomber, gonna leak onto the side just in case K9 wants to come down and, uh, and edge guard him, but K9 smartly stays on stage. Alright, gonna oh, catch him. I but think not about gonna kill. I think about Wolf Flash though, doesn't auto snap the ledge, and that forward smash is able to take him out there. That's interesting. Oh, Sonic Mega could actually charge another uh another charge shot there. Besides oh. not to. My forward air not gonna kill, but it's just off the stage and I have to roll the Ooh. second time around. Making that wolf howl. Alright, Crash Bomber, not gonna link onto Sonic Mega. That was an interesting uh interesting interaction with Crash Bomber. I thought he'd link onto him after the crew, but no. He can also just reflect, and then he'll reflect the, the explosion. Yeah. yeah. But I like the fact that he goes for the shield, hoping that it sticks to Sonic Mega. Yeah. Okay. Sonic Mega still trying to set up something with Leaf Shield here. K9 getting chipped away by Leaf Shield and up airs. Gotta watch out for uh for Tornado. All right. Back Whoa. air just barely missing. Hard knuckle. I still don't know how that hit. K9 probably drifted into it. Down throw. Nice head guard situation yet again. Here's the edge phase. Looking for the jump recovery there, but he doesn't get it. And instead gets crossed up by Sonic Mega. Alright, very nice. Gonna go with a back throw. Not gonna kill just yet. That's Mega Man is a heavy character. Yeah, it's a super fighting robot, man. He weighs a little bit more than what you would think. He's a, he's uh small in stature, but heavy. He heavy overall. Yeah. His, his heart weighs heavy on him. Man, he had a he had to destroy a lot of his brethren just to get to where he is now. Okay, this is pretty crucial to stock here. If, if K9 isn't able to get it, and Sonic Mega does, things can go R for him. All right, just blast it straight up. Not gonna connect. Oh, Sonic Mega has actually brought this back. Oh god, uh, okay. charge shot. Not gonna take. Uh, I like it. K9 went for that situation. Point out so well because K9 used the blast shot. Sorry, the the, the blast trigger closed blast. down Sonic Mega and make sure that he's able to get there, but Sonic Mega immediately ties it up, going down to the wire. All right, another Metal Blade hold, held inside Sonic Mega's hand, very smartly just shields right after he does it. Another Leaf Shield, K9 uh, getting chipped away again. Looks like that Game 2 plan is slipping away from his mind. Yeah. Wow, K9 still stacking this damage, though. And <laughs> that's... I never thought a shield would be so threatening. Uh, uh, especially after, like, shield girl. Nice, get in there, and the back Oh, air. my abs! Uh. Nope, he's still alive. Crash Bomber just barely missing K9 in his recovery. Very nice jump over Crash Bomber again. Forward Smash just missing too. <laughs> I like it though. He immediately sees the roll and tries to punish him with the Forward Smash. This is going down to the wire for Sonic Mega. Gets when, the up air. When Wolf Forward Smash, don't, uh, forward smashes, don't you think you hear a Discord notification sound? <laughs> I feel like I do. And back that air. back air, gonna take it all. K9 able to take it over Sonic Mega with a...